himself to this and he began talking to everybody who came in and getting their names on a, uh, on a list. And he supposedly wanted to uh, um, organize a hardware club or something, learn hardware, computer hardware, digital hardware. And then came the Altair and one sample was sent out to the uh, People's Computer Company, which was very closely affiliated with this community computer center. There had been a spin-up of that. And it made the rounds. And uh, then I heard from uh, Bob Marsh, my friend who was interested in this stuff, that there's this meeting in Menlo Park. And uh, I think he showed me this little half-page Xerox thing that uh, Fred had uh, turned out himself, calling the meeting of the amateur computer group or something like that. <coughs> and so we went down there and it was Fred in Gordon's garage and 30 of us. I somehow seemed to think it was 19 when I got filmed for this. I don't know what went through my head. So let's, uh, there's been a uh, film made about Fred. Fred died in 1997 in an auto accident in Arizona. And there was a memorial service conducted in Berkeley, at which I spoke and many other people spoke, and most of us were surprised at all the others. Uh, Gordon French was there, and he came away saying, now I realize why, in his view, the FBI was trailing him after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Markley Morris, who is here, has made a film and, uh, and has DVDs of it, uh, Walking Rainbow, in honor of Fred and re recounting his life. And he, he filmed at the, outside the memorial service and people gave their stories. And there's a lot more. So I've got a copy of it here and I, can show, I want to show about eight minutes worth of it in about four excerpts if possible, if you will indulge me.